Not only were the women crazy, destructive animals, but everyone just stood by and watched. That's what the 23-year-old owner said after her fast food spot in NYC was trashed over a dispute about dipping sauce. As the world continues to deteriorate, I'll continue to commentate. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new episode of Brain Words, where we watch people who lack restraint and poise acting like absolute idiots in public. Let's run it back and watch how things escalate in this one. Here. So as the video starts, we're already right in the thick of it. A perimeter of onlookers with their cell phones out and lights on have established a ring around the outside. There's what looks to be two to three main actresses here uh, in this WWE reenactment. Throwing things against the COVID barrier. Clearly the alarm's gone off. Maybe they pulled it. I mean, this is quintessential brain worms and it gets even juicier. We're gonna dive in a little bit deeper and talk about not only what happened to the people at the store, but what happened to these girls after the fact. And then we got a couple other things to watch. But first, I gotta keep the AC on. In this office, it is hot as a bitch up here. So you know today's video is sponsored. By none other than the kings of mobile gaming advertisements, the OGs, Raid Shadow Legends. I'll see you in a minute. Raid Shadow Legends continues to change the MF in game, bringing a true console-like experience to your phone. And I love this game. There's millions of champion combos and countless tactics you can use to smash raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arenas. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champs, and raid your way. The champion design alone makes me moist. So these are my top three most badass champions. Jintoro is a boss. Just look at the detail on that armor, plus his epic sword. Yoshi the Drunkard is my guy. He's got a Hanya tattoo and a big fat belly just like me. And the glowing halberd axe hybrid weapon on Jing Wan, plus this demon hand shield, chef's kiss. And on top of that, Raid's running a huge series of summer splash events for the whole month, where you can get your hands on some sick new skins for everyone's favorite dwarf trunda. They're also running a special Deliana chase event, where you can snag the new amazing high elf Deliana. Just by logging in and playing Raid for seven days between now and July 28th, you get Deliana for free. That's it. This is the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click on my link in the description or scan my QR code here on screen, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Tyrell, 200k silver, one energy refill, an XP boost, one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. Just enter the promo code MYDELIANA to get your hands on everything. Let's go, baby. What? the paper towel rolls? I mean, they're getting everything on the counter. All must go. There she goes. That's it. It wouldn't be... <laughs> I mean, I could not have scripted that better myself. It wouldn't be a true assault and destruction of a business in downtown NYC if halfway through you didn't hop up onto the counter and start twerking in a miniskirt up against the COVID barrier. Look, you're already committing a felony. The adrenaline's pumping. You got an audience of adoring fans circled around cheering you on so they can get a cool viral clip for Twitter. Obviously, you're gonna pop a twerk real quick before you hop down the other side after destroying the business. This is a master class in social media virality. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, let's run that back, let's run that back. Hold on, hold on. Here she goes. All right, let's get up out of here. Oh, no dice. Sweetheart in the green there got Dikembe Mutombo denied by the counter on her first attempt. So she steps back down. She takes a second to think about it. She's like, you know what? I got to set my stuff down, take a new approach. The counter's a little bit higher than I anticipated. A little bit embarrassing. Your friend just got up there, twerked on the glass, hopped off. No big deal. You're over here getting stuffed on the opposite side of the counter. <laughs> it's a good try, though. It's a valiant effort. Now let's put the phone down. There you go. Better technique that time. Not done throwing stuff. Just everything. Anything that... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's the... Speaking of a dispute over dipping sauce, right? So that... That's how this whole thing started, apparently. They, um... They wanted extra sauce, and... The... Employee said they were gonna have to charge them for it. And, uh... So they're like, fuck that, let's destroy the business. You can't charge us for extra sauce. <laughs> Thank you. 
They're like smiling, laughing. Oh, got her friend in the face. Man, a little bit of friendly fire there. That thing looks kind of heavy. I'm thinking like she might, she didn't go down, but I think that might have hurt more than she's leading on right now. Take a look at this. Ooh, took the hat right off. I'm surprised the weave stayed on. Like, what do you do? Like, you made your point? No? Oh. She goes down now? This girl is a hot mess. <laughs> Slipped on the honey mustard. You hate to see it. Now you're just making a fool out of yourself. You thought you were cool. Everyone was cheering. You destroyed the business. You made your point. You didn't want to pay for the sauce. But you overstayed your welcome. And now you just look like an idiot. I'm kidding, of course. They all looked like idiots the entire time. But let's dive in a little bit further into what actually happened here. These girls got their order, so decided they want some extra sauce. And upon asking for it, they were told it was going to cost them $1.75. Apparently, they didn't like that very much. So instead of paying for it or respectfully disagreeing, flipping them the bird and getting your sauce somewhere else, they decided to just cause $25,000 worth of damage to the store instead. Oh, by the way, this employee pictured here, Maria Baez, got hit in the head with one of those like iPad checkout things. Uh, and she had to, she had to get hospitalized and get staples in her head. So thanks for playing. You can now catch an assault and battery charge as well. <laughs> now as Brainworms clips like to do, it went mega viral and now actions meet consequences. The three women in the video got arrested and are being tried in court. Two of them are due back next month. One of them got put in jail and held on $5,000 bond, the one who hit the girl in the head with the iPad thing. Now I've watched a bunch of clips of news stations covering this, which is cringe as hell because news stations suck. Uh, but one of my favorite clips is from the lawyer of one of the girls. So yeah, check this out. What the public has seen is a very, very limited piece of the information that's out there. And I believe once we get Glenn the full videotape and the full story of what happened that evening, it's gonna be a much different version. Hey, you think so? Your Honor, it may look like my client spent two minutes destroying this entire property and took a break halfway through to twerk on the COVID barrier, but I assure you she was just looking for the restroom. Give me a fucking break, bro. Lawyers are so stupid. Like, yeah, I, we missed the conversation and what happened leading up to what took place in that video. It could have gotten pretty heated. I don't know, maybe some people said some things that were not very nice, but there's no situation where that could be justified, obviously. Everyone outside was recording and laughing and cheering on the girls, which is the most disgusting part, said one witness. Now, if you're like me, this comes as no surprise. We all know that every last vestige of civility was incinerated the day that going viral became a household phenomenon. The world is now just a barbaric wasteland filled with brainlets who would choose getting a thousand likes on Twitter over having just a modicum of humanity 100 times out of 100. I like to chop it up a bit and point and laugh on this channel as a bit of a coping mechanism when the reality is it's unfathomably sad. Get the Ooh. in your car right now. I cut you off? Classic uh, your bit of road rage here. Congratulations. Ooh. Yikes. Um, yeah, this that's going to be censored when you guys see it, but he just made uh, an extremely racist remark about the man's wife in the car. The guy screaming through the window seemed like a chode at first, but now I really just want him to get his ass beat. Wow, what did you say? Say that again. Yeah. Say that again. Say it again. Yeah. Say it again. Say it again. What did you just say? What did you just call my wife? Trigger the driver. What did you just call my wife? Little bit. What did you just call my good wife? Reason. Oh. Yeah. You <laughs> cut me off. <laughs> Stupid son of a bitch. So <laughs> get out of the <laughs> car. All right, here's the deal. Road rage is the stupidest shit of all time. Like, I ex I get it, I experience it. The second you get into a car, the littlest transgression by someone else on the road is the, is the worst thing on the planet. I don't know what it is about being in a car, but it brings out the absolute worst in people. But if you're like, if there's like a little, oh, you get cut off or something, like a little something stupid, and you, and you pull over and get into like, this type of screen, this dude is clearly has brain worms. I mean, the guy might be having a bad day. Maybe his wife went to get a manicure again and she came home smelling like Calvin Klein cologne. You never know what he's going through, but there's never an excuse to act like an absolute child over something stupid. I understand the rage, I get it. But again, restraint and poise. Don't make yourself look like an idiot. But the guy in the car though, I mean, he started, like, after that comment about his wife, with good reason, he got pissed off. He started creeping his car up and screaming out the window, say it again, egging this guy on, like, say it again, see what happens to you, right? And the second the guy turns around and starts walking back, dude in the car, like, recoils back into his car and rolls the window back up. Like, come on, bro, that's some, that's some real pussy.
Pussy. Pussy. I'm not going to say you should have gotten into a physical altercation with this man. Who knows if he's loaded, he's got a knife, a guy. Who knows? But if you're going to puff your chest and then he comes around to confront you, at least like hit him with a little whoop, little titty twister or something, little like boop on the nose before you put the window back up. You just made yourself look like a bitch in front of your wife, nonetheless, who he just completely insulted in one of the worst ways possible. Selfishly, I would have loved to see that man get his ass beat, uh, probably for the best that they didn't get in an altercation. But this is the internet. We don't want what's best. We want what's the most entertaining at other people's expense. Let's go, come on. We all just want to pull out our phones and capture the most blissful moments of people's lives unraveling, like your life right now. And I got it all on film, baby. There will be no screaming. There will be no clapping at the movie. And if you want to, we will kick you out immediately with no refunds. Huh. If you don't want to leave, when we ask you to, we'll call the cops to have you removed. There are Jesus. actual families here to see this movie. And if you disrupt them, you can also pay for their ticket. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you understand? I'm gonna tell you one thing right now, that girl is not getting paid enough. She is fed up with the disrespectful Zoomers causing a ruckus in the new Buzz Lightyear movie. Put your goddamn phone away. Stop recording and snickering with your friends. I'm trying to watch a Disney masterpiece. No, but honestly, for a job that likely pays around minimum wage, this girl is going above and beyond right now for the ethos of that theater. It is illegal to record any part of the movie, oh, no, even the beginning didn't. sequence. You cannot record it. If you record it, we won't even give you a warning. We'll just call the police because it is illegal. Do you understand that? All right, lady, we get it. Jesus, that's a little bit. That's a little bit much. You're being a little bit extra now. I don't know if I, I don't know if I could stay and watch the movie after that. After getting reprimanded that hard by a teenager, like I have no idea what went on here. Like it, the the caption says, they are stopping everyone now. I can't imagine any movie theater worker gives a shit if someone's like recording part of the movie on their phone, right? If you're disrupting the experience for everyone else, maybe. But working in a movie theater strikes me as the kind of job where you only show up to do the bare minimum to collect a paycheck. Punching tickets, pick up a popcorn here and there, but this is just a whole nother level of commitment to being a movie theater attendant. I guess I have no idea how old this girl is, but I'm imagining like a 14 year old, 15 year old girl just lecturing a room full of like people my age, which is probably not the case, but that's what I'm imagining. Got a scene at CVS here. I gave you my name at first. Yeah. You should have moved down here and, and did what you're you supposed to do. You know, I was in line first. Sir, you can have a seat down there. Fuck off, bitch. Ooh. I don't give a That's fuck. Fine. You won't get no help. My man really needs his medicine if this is how he's acting without it. So just, I don't care. Just cut, just let him cut in line, give him his medicine. I'm kidding, of course. I have no idea, again, ever what the context is, but uh, imagine getting this upset at a fucking pharmacy. I, I, just, I can't even fathom it. How about that? Bitch, I promise you, you won't help me today. No, I'm not. No, I will not. No, I ain't. I'm tired of that poor no, customer service. Oh. Oh, okay. You dick bitch, you go off somewhere. Somewhere else, because I'm not doing it. I like that the attendant was absolutely not taking his shit. Sir, you are not going to be helped today. You need to get on up out of here and please don't come back. I'm sick and tired of bad customer service, man. Fuck off, bitch. Uh, newsflash, bro. Welcome to being alive. Life is mostly made up of just fleeting moments of joy in a deep sea of resounding pain where you're basically just on hold with customer service at all times. <laughs> and one thing that I've learned in my 37 years on this earth is that that is exactly how you never get what you want. A little bit of patience, finesse, and a cute smile will get you a lot farther than that bullshit right there. Training program that the city base, it is not illegal to yell here. Excuse me. <sighs> okay, uh, oh boy, we are six seconds in and I need to break. Buckle up. This is the, this is the finale of the fireworks show right here. This is your quintessential, I mean, just look at her, the bun, the glasses. You know, little, probably like middle upper class white woman. You can just, you can smell the Karen. It's palpable in a Starbucks nonetheless. No idea what she's arguing about, but let's let's continue hearing what she has to say. I'm sure it's very important. Ma'am, you are helped when you are visiting the city. Would you please ask your family to correct it? You have been fired and sued several times. I will not leave your bullshit store. You have been asked. Very loudly about your family's contracts. You do not live off this salary. What? Goodbye. With the understanding, I ask quietly that it is not illegal to be loud. Get the fuck out, lady. 
Bro, how? I say it every time I do a Brainworms episode. How do people like this make it this far in life? How is she a functioning member of society? I think we go too lenient on people. Like, she should just not even be allowed out of a cage. Just put her in a cage. Lock it up. Like, let her out every couple months. But, like, you just... I'm kidding, of course. Like, the, the caption of this video is, We seriously have a mental health crisis in this country. And, like... I, I kind of joking maybe, but honestly, yes. I mean, just in general, like watching that video just makes me hate that woman so viscerally right away. But I want to also have a little empathy for her because she must be going through so much pain and suffering to just be living that way. But as history has taught us, some of the best art has been created through enduring some of the deepest pain and suffering, which is why I just witnessed one of the sickest coffee grinder top drum solos I've ever seen. Quietly. She was like one plexiglass snare hit away from being Ringo Starr. God damn it, that was gorgeous. <laughs> what a world. <laughs> it's nice to know that with all the madness out there, we at least have each other. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thank you for your time. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. And do me one favor before you go stand up out of your chair, get up off your couch or your bed. Rip your pants down to the floor and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. 18 plus only, of course. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.